Hi, this is Cher from Cher's Crafting Beauty. My husband made me something that I absolutely love. So I asked him if he would do a tutorial on how he made it. So I'm going to leave this video over to my husband now and my daughter, Kayla. And they'll show you what was made. Right, so anyway, this is what we made. Yeah. Was it? Jewel, it's more of a jewellery box from a, an old book. Yeah, but I got some decorated. Yeah. Cut the pages out. Some nice Alice in Wonderland embellishments on there, some feathers, some roses, yeah. some pearl beads, some trim, yeah. some nice little feet, and a nice little decorative closure. So my wife's gonna do a tutorial on this embellishment on a later date, so Stay tuned for that. Yeah. So otherwise this is what you're gonna need to do the book. Well, jewelry box. My wife usually just uses a phone holder. But yeah, be whatever you want it to be. That's gonna be like right, this. So what you're gonna need first is a an old standard book which is quite thick. You need it to be quite thick, depending, I mean, and it has to be a hardback. Can't be any of that flimsy stuff. So, to do the book, you just need a few simple tools. Yeah. Got my Bosch power drill just in case I need it. But yeah, power doors. Most of it is going to be used using the Draper multi tool kit that I got off. Uh, Easy, I think it was. Yeah, but so, don't, don't do that. First, you need you need a trimmer, a pencil, some masking tape, small drill bits, and I'll show you why you need them uh, later on. Who can't use that? Who can't use that? Everybody can't except you. Well, yeah, well, anyone can use a baby. A ruler for straight edges, my wife hates measuring, but I love it, so. Mud porridge and paint brush. And I'll show you why you need this. Anyway, oh, forgot one thing. Well, you can hold of it. Forgot one thing. This is the rule I use for a perfect square. So, start. I'll keep that happy. Thank you. I'm trying not to flash that ruler about this. It's very long. What, this one? <laughs> what, that? <laughs> okay. No, I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to give it that face. Anyway, what you want to do is start off by opening the book, first page. Just do a full ruler width all the way around. First page. Can I do it? Of course you can. I'll hold the ruler. <laughs> all the way down. That's if you can hear that squeak, it's the little stool that my daughter's sitting on. On this side. It's okay, you just carry on sitting on it, darling. This yeah, way. that's it, baby, all the way down. Right, and now you've got your perfect little square pieces. What should we call this? Mm, square Holder, piece. Square hole. Yeah. Square. Put anything in it. Like this piece? Yeah, you go on then. Yeah, you could put that in it. We well, are, yeah, why not? Mummy does. Well, I'll put my case in there. Well, anyway. So now. What we do is we glue the pages together. Obviously it's got to be solid. So we'll start by gluing the pages together. I don't remember how I did this last time. We were ready. I don't know why. How did I do it last time? I didn't glue them individually, did I? Spinning by myself. No. And I 
Yeah, this I was around the edges. Yeah. So that's what you need your Mod Podge for. Mm -hmm. Brand new, still sealed. My waist going to kill me because there is other ones open. Usually, you put it first, though, didn't you? No, I didn't know. What uh, uh, uh. Well, anyway. I'm going to glue it in my waist here. I did it the other way first, but I'm going to do it this way this time. Maybe easier if it's more solid. There is more podge open in me, ice craft and there, but I'm too lazy to can find it, so I'll zoom this one. Open the new one on. What? Lazy. <laughs> you know it. Sprinkle the mod podge on the pages. <laughs> Try and bind them together. What are you doing? Binding the pages together. And you also have to glue the back one down too. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing but the book's getting in the way and I have to keep it laying flat. Wait, can I do it for you? Well let me do this page baby and then you can do the next one, alright? Like partners. Aye, uh, partners. Proper partners. 60-40 split, eh? Yeah. I'm so 60 40 split. Yeah. I get more of the profit. Yeah, in your favour, isn't it, Diane? Not in Dad's, no. In your favour, you get 60, yeah? yeah. No, in Dad's favour, 60 40 split. Right, okay, come on, in, baby. Here's your podge. All you do is on the blue bit, just all over, okay? And Dad's going to have to wipe that off before it dries. So, my book will stick to that. How do I manage that? You don't have to you don't have to be precise with it on, just like you're painting. Spread the glue around like you're painting, that's it. Okay. Yeah, should okay, I, I got it, got it. Should have had a sticky mat or something, but never mind. Clean teal when you finish. I'll have to seal some of these as well when I'm there. Right, I think everything you've got on there, baby, you could spread that about and get the whole page done with what you've got in there without dumping it back in. Okay. Because now who's wasting glue? Mm. Yeah, Mammy's got nothing to say about that. Mm. I'm doing fast. There. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Let's close the book. Let's sit it nicely. Let's glue it down. The access off. Hello. Yeah, baby. Oh, that was a bit clumsy thing to do, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Could you get me the wet wipe, please? Sure. I have nothing on me. That's good. Good. We're not got the other one that's open, baby. No. Where's my tissues on? Yeah, that's the last one. Just to clean up the blue strap, blue mess. So it doesn't stick to the book. This is actually, this actually will be the third one I've made of these. My wife sold the second one I made. A decent amount of profit off it. Which I thought was pretty cool. Good things to have at craft stores and stuff. Into that. Seal the 
else at the moment. Well, I'm doing my first one next month. I'm looking forward to it. We are. We'll see all that down there. Seal a few of these pages up. All the along, all the edges, no matter about the bottom one, but as long as it sticks down, it's a solid piece. Keep the glue off there. Oh, yeah, that was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? Well, not a silly thing to do, Kian. Yeah. You meant to see no with that, that was perfect. Why would you want to say that, eh? You know that grand job. All I'm trying to do is get these pages that are unstuck. She's just agreeing with you because she's watching the telly. <laughs> and this was just a book my wife picked up from her. Second hand bookshop. Just something to do with things that you pick up. You no longer want to oh, read or get you bothered about. Mary Jackie Collins, quite a good author, but you know, depends on your preference. Some people like Marion Keys, some people like whoever. Get that in a minute, that's a good point. You can get that, did I? Making mistakes already. Now, do you think you could go in the kitchen and in the carrier bag? Me? Yes, get me three books that are heavy. Oh, are you sure you can do that? Do you need help? Just get yeah. one at a time, baby. Bring them through one at a time. They're in the corner next to the bench. Daddy needs it for the weight. I'll tell you why I used the crease proof here about when I was doing the felt. It's also so in the page of the front didn't stick. Yeah, but that was when the felt though, wasn't it? You can't find them. I'll give you a hand. Oh, there's the one that you were It's going to be a two part video of this because by the time I've done the first and getting it dry, it'll be time to cut it and drill it, and then it's decorating after that. I might do it different to that one, I might do something like a Betty Boot Bus site. That one's a bit vintage, modern vintage, do you want to see? 
And we're wasting the other kinds of stuff at the yeah. moment. We haven't seen that heavy sample through a few more, just in case. Alright, thank you. I'll put on the chair. Thank you. Anyone you pick? No, I'll need all of them done and not just one of them. I need all of them. I've not picked it all of them. Got to be weirdy, doesn't it? I don't know if a heat gun would dry the glue any quicker, but I don't know. It's not naturally dry, I suppose. See what happens. So that's it for that. I'll get that other thing in a minute. Greaseproof paper. Probably is a good idea. Greaseproof paper. Where are you? This is for being yeah. female clear. Yeah. Are you okay to use? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just get on the sheet there. Well, well, female being clear. Good stuff if you haven't used that. Oh, I'll have to show them how I made the unicorns. Okay, look. Well, no. In the 90 days, leave yeah, that there. Be push it to one side. Push it on. Are you done too, John? Put the weight on. There's more books I'll be using when my wife wants more done. But I'll be back after it's dry, so I'll just pause the video there. Ah, right, the Mod Podge is dry now, so what we're going to do okay. is take our ruler with metal edge, or yeah. you can use that metal edge ruler. Something with the metal edge, and all you're going to do. Just it on that line. You're gonna have to be very, very careful. Just a very sharp blade. This is a utility knife, my wife's Santoro stuff. Yeah, but be careful at home. Yeah, be careful because they're very, very sharp. And all you do is go along that line. Yeah. And don't put don't put some kit don't do some kids do it. No, don't let your kids do it. No, not me. Well, then Daddy will do it, yeah? Yeah, or the parents will do it. Okay. Not children. Okay, just parents, not children. Good advice there, darling. Watch yourself, please. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, you want to sit on this or you're not on Daddy's way, please? Well, I'll push back the chair and I can't get close. All you're doing is just scoring along that line. Yep. And be careful, don't cut your feet. This is what you're going to do. Just take the couple of first pages off the layer. Then what you want to do after that is get... Don't worry about it, if you come off the line you're going to cover it anyway. I could dip with the other one. I used a bit of felt to line the front page. Mm. Right. Put the lid back on that. Let's see how many we took out. One, two. two. Oh, can I do it? Of course you can. Three, four. Hold on, we didn't score that page properly. Mm. Now watch your fingers down. Keep your hands away from me. I am. Okay. There you go. Is it four? Yeah, that's four. Yeah, that's five. Four. No, we didn't go deep enough on that one. Watch fingers, please. We didn't go deep enough on that one. Right. So, that's the kind of page you're taking out. Something like that. Yeah, keep holding them for me. Dad, yeah. it's my wife and the book pages and the children. Now, ooh. Yeah. That's right. just a step. Put them on, uh, put the lid back on that. Alright, this is where your drill or your Bremel comes into it. Yeah. We're going to use the Bremel. And all you're going to do. Is it the Bremel thing? Can I mess it back to you, darling? Back's killing me. Okay. Thank you, darling. I'm getting away from that. 
Get away from that. Well, you can do me a favour though if you want. Yeah. Go around them, plug it in for me. Um, you do that? Yeah. Shh. Is it long enough? It's down there, darling. Sweet Kayla. Down there. Too much because these are a nightmare to get off if you tighten them on too much. Now, all you do is take your drill, speed yeah. setting lowest on one so it's not too fast. I was going to use the power drill but I think the setting is just too fast. So I'm not going to use the big one today. No, use the small one. Use the small one. How are you doing? Get in the corner. Higher frequency, so it'll down to him. I'm not fast enough, so we're done. Just a delay. Again with this corner. Just a delay. And then. Get it right in the corner and just push. Yeah. You ain't drilling your walls, but you're drilling your boots. Yeah. And that is all you need that for. Let's get rid of the dust. Yeah, let's get rid of the dust. But you don't have to use that, they can keep using the blade all the way through. Yeah, they could use the blade, but they get some nice rounded corners. I suggest you use a drill or a hand drill, even. Thank you. We'll keep these because they do come in handy for the projects. Daddy's come on, we just move them to one side. There's a modest. It's alright, don't worry about the access dust, it'll come off. And then we'll take the blade again. This. And all you're going to do is keep going down that yes. line. Until you oh, get so where you want to be. Yeah, and you'll know when you finish and you get where you need to be. Because your pages mm -hmm. will stop having the drill on them, they'll just go square. Now, this is how I've done the other two as well that I did previously to this one. Just try and keep the light. Straight as you can. On all sides. And just keep taking those pages out bit by bit. You're not going to get them all in one go. Push as hard as you can when you feel the knife's getting stiff. Just take the pages out. Go to the next one. Yeah, 
Yeah, honey. All right, sweetie. Can we off for you? Yeah. All right, baby. What, darling? The board's in here. All right, come off your board. Get yourself away, baby. Plenty of things you can do. I've got 23 pages in that one. Like I said, we just pop them to one side. And take the ruler. You've got quite a bit of depth on your blade to go as far down as the drill bit went. And if not, you can always just eyeball it when, if you can't get any more from the Easy. Yeah, and you're moving around in the background, it's just my wife. Oh thanks. TV or on YouTube and she's just faffing. I'm actually getting some paper ready for a scrapbook, which I'm going to be doing. I love you too, yeah, you know. <laughs> You don't need the ruler to be honest, you just use the side of the book, it's thick enough now. Just take those pages out. Mid by a bit. Any mistakes like that, I'll fix them at the end. All on them. them out. Get to the end. Just Access ones off. They do get in the way and become annoying. These ones down here again, just trim the access ones off. Till you roughly get the square you want. It does get a bit messy, but it's cleaned up at the end. And now you 
a couple more just watching the cut through pages but you can always fast forward at the video if you want to and tell you view. You'll see you can only go so far with the knife one way. Just turn it around, shut the screw down right. Turn the knife around, just go the other way. Never actually seen one of these made before I made the first one. So if there's any of these out there that Shop buying when you can beat the sound. Yeah. Pulling away at those pages. You see that they're starting to get stuck, just cutting down. They'll come out. Like I said, any loose ones, just pull them off. They'll not get covered at the end anyway. Any loose ones inside, again, just trim them off. Make it a square. each time so make sure you don't snap the blade. Snapping the blade on one of these things is a nightmare. Doing the shorter sides is easier than doing the bigger one. The longer sides rather. Oh yeah, it's easy when you start your dean. The first one was the uh, the longest. Didn't really know what I was doing probably with the first one. Drilling the holes is easy. 
it's the best thing you could do when doing one of these. Without the holes you've got nothing to start with. And you don't know how deep you're going. You'll know you're at the bottom of the pages. No, what I'm saying is, you'll know you're on your last page when you don't get the circular hole in the corners. That's how you know you're on your last page, and you get the depth you need to be. made so many mistakes with the first one. Right. Didn't dab around I think either way. Either way you can check to see how far you've got left to go, just put your drill in, as soon as it stops, a few more mils to go. And then we'll clean up the inner sides. And if you do shoot over, shoot the holes by page or two. haven't connected the edges, I don't know if you can see, but in there, where the paper's starting the thing up, that's where you haven't cut properly. Take that bit away.
inside of the box there's no way it's going to stay straight. Like the first one I did. Got carried that. Make these for just about anything, really. There's a book safe, jewelry. Not my wife, it's more of a phone holder than it is out of. Good thing is, she doesn't lose her phone. in a minute because it's getting a bit overwhelming in here. Ooh, and on the table. Going to this one over here, we've got to go a little bit deeper. So I want them to be roughly the same depth. I usually sand it, sand it the inside of the other one. So we'll probably do the same with that this one as well. Again, just the
just a case of getting it as even as you can basically. I do get a little bit tiff stuff in it come out as we go further down the book. I don't know why but do. out. I've got me fan on, it's blown out of the hour. 
So as you can see, that's what it looks like so far. And we're getting rid of all the book pages. Now, I'm still not finished with the inside of that yet. Things all the way over there. So now I need from the bottom of the kit sanding blocks. safety and all that, use a face mask. Like I said in the start of this video, I'm too lazy for that. But I have lost my spanner. Little silver spanner. Oh, I'll find it when I finished. Here somewhere. You only need a slow speed for this one. Turn the book up on the end like that. And just it off. Keep it nice, even. That's what it looks like so far. Not just a little bit of strands here, so I'm just gonna cut them off. And like I said, we got the edges, we just turn the back down. As you can see, when you finish the sanding, it does give it a nice, smooth, textured finish, and what it does to the the words where things come together. So now all we're going to do is grab the Mod Podge again. Oh, why is that left? Why is that sealed itself? Oh, there. And what we're going to do. Glue down the sides all the way in. You get that 
nice clean finish. What are you doing? Sealing in those pages. Let's put some on the back bottom page as well. Let's give that glossy coat. Some people like it covered up, some people don't. It's just really what you want, what your preference is, or who you're giving it to. So if you want to leave the book page, by all means, go ahead and leave the book page. If you don't want to leave the book page, cover it up. It's whatever you want to do with your project. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. How you want to look, just go right ahead. And the same process for this as I did with the outsides. Mod Podge, yeah. good coat of Mod Podge. Or tacky glue, whatever you're using, it's up to you. I use Mod Podge because it was the first thing I grabbed my hat off. All four sides, and you're done. And then, I'll be it for this video. Because then it's just a case of leaving it to dry until tomorrow. Because the inside you want it to dry really, really well. Because that's where you're going to be handling it, pulling things in and out of it. And tell you to you. So that's what it looks like so far. Now you can close the lid and just have it as a book. Book safe. Or lie it flat and go sell a jewelry box. Probably shouldn't have closed the lid with a with a mod podge but in my where is my ears? What's this paper card again? It's free. Free. Yeah? Not freezer paper. Wax paper. That's it. I didn't even think that. It went. Yeah, it's free. Put your wax paper on, on the, in between the lid, the cover, but make sure the shiny side, sh shiny side is down. So when it doesn't stick, I'm going to pull it off. So that's that. That's that. And then we'll just put your books on the top. Yep, put your books on the top for the whip, and I'm going to put that. I'm going to do that in a different room. So that's the end of this video for now. If you want to see what it looks like when I decorate it? Join me for that one. Thanks for watching. I'll let me wave you see the rest. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook page now called Chess Crafting Boutique where you can share what you have made to inspire others. If that's something you are interested in doing, please come along and join in. Thank you. Bye. Bye.